Broad broadcast in front middle to New York Concrete City Not Rouge Bonkers of Elvira Sadly reporting another tragic 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 loss Loss in Louisiana J30, man, we back in this bitch. Yeah, we got more stuff, man. It's just getting so Broadcasting from Ontolani Lake here in Ontolani, PA. It's your boy, Frankie the Lucky Dog here. Sadly, reporting another tragic loss in the Louisiana rap community. Justin Abity, better known by his stage name, J Dirty, was murdered on Halloween night. Saturday, October 31st, 2020, around 7.30 p.m. He was only 37 years old. According to officials, Abity was in his vehicle on the 3900 block of North 38th Street when a gunshot struck him. Despite being taken to the hospital, Abity succumbed to his fatal shot. Currently, this investigation is ongoing, and arrest and motive are yet to be determined. Jay Dirty was born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on September 4, 1983. A Southern University graduate, Jay Dirty always had a passion for the music business. During his late teens, in March 2003, Jay Dirty was approached by Baton Rouge rapper Terror, aka Cheese, and KNA Law Cheeses. Shortly after, he became Cheese's manager, and the group Down Bad was ready to take off. Down Bad originally consisted of five members. Cage the Conductor, Jack the Ripper, J.R. Dot, Super Macked Out, and Terror, aka Cheese. The group released Underground Hits Volume 2 and Underground Hits Volume 3 in 2004, followed by Drugs, Dope Records Used to Get Skrilla, and Underground Hits Volume 4 in 2005. In 2006, the group kept it going with Drugs 2 and the fifth installment of their Underground Hits mixtapes, releasing Underground Hits Volume 5. The following year in 2007, Down Bear dropped the sickest mixtape, while member Terror dropped his solo debut when Terror Strikes. The group also won the Group of the Year Award at the Krunkfest 2K7 Music Awards. In 2008, Down Bear had even more multiple releases, from The Block to The Club, The Sickest 2K8, and ex-member Soup is live from 225. Following up 2008 with 2009, Down Bad continued with the Macked Out Movements Take That Volume 2, Super's Hood Superstar, and Hood Superstar Volume 2, and Terror's Terror in the Ghetto. Baton Rouge rappers Big World, Johnny Hustle, and Young Gregory also formed their own group, DNA, which stood for... The the group is best known for their blue on the track produced track swag so crazy, while Jay Dirty is also known for giving Johnny Hustle his stage name. As the 2010s rolled in, member Supa released this retarded, but when his macked out music route independently, while the other four members released re -Rock. In 2011, Terror's third solo effort, Interrogated, was released. Keeping things moving in 2012, Down Bad's most recent release was released, The Final Foe. However, shortly after, the group went on hiatus. Jay Dirty later started his own label, Dirty Management, managing fellow Baton Rouge or Mr. Kane. Cheese turned into Loud Cheeses and formed his own label, YBS Entertainment. Cage, Jack, and JR have been laying low as of lately. Not to worry though, on September 11, 2020, I met up with Cheese to talk about the past and current life of Down Bad. We, we coincide, we'll coincide again, we're gonna give y'all another classic, but it, it won't be long, but right now, you know, everybody just, you know, on different schedules right now, so that's it. You yeah. Know, there ain't no beef in that. He told me that everybody's still cool with each other and that it's not impossible to hear some new music one day. It ain't like we did more, so it's just like, you know, like, like I said, we on different schedules right now, you know? Earlier on September 4th, Jay Dirty celebrated his 37th birthday. I done had so many different phases in my life, you heard me? That I'm standing tall on this bridge right now, creating moments. Just like the history book I've had with Jay Dirty since November 7, 2008 at 3.42 in the morning. That's right, at age 20, elevated it elevated that's why I got the same hat I have on since 2008 down bad times the same shirt I'm rocking since New Year's Eve 2008 down bad times 
and the same retired jacket from 2008 Down Bad Times. You heard me mixed in with the current, and you got Frankie the Lucky Dog, aka Frank Calhoun. And I was able to capture Jay Dirty with these moments, you heard me? Like I said, 2008, Nussie Alive Times, they going to forever live on. That's why it's 2020, and I'm standing tall on the bridge right now, you heard me? Take a look at the moments. Brought to you by yours truly. I was first approached about Down Bad back on July 27, 2007, months before my Louisiana connection started, thanks to KJ Armour. KJ was concerned that I didn't even hear Down Bad's music yet. The thing was, on July 27, 2007, the only Baton Rouge artists I knew were Webby, Boosie, Mouse, Fox, and Big Head. I think I came a long way. Good luck, man. It's dirty, man. What's up? And the first time I heard of J Dirty was on Word of South's My Block Forum. Back on October 5th, 2008. Dirty? He approached me out of nowhere and said, You a beast on this internet. Still am to this day. So on November 7, 2008, at 3.42 in the morning, I'm catching some Z's and my phone rings. I pick that bitch up and... What up? What's up, Phil? Nothing, I'm chilling. What's good with you? Yeah, chillin', man. I was telling your phone call. What's up? Nothing. I got in touch with uh, KJ Armour, talking to him about something, and he was like, Did you hear Down Bad's new CD? And I was like, No, nah, not yet. Alright, where you from, cuz? I'm originally from Long Island, New York. Alright, what's your name, man? My name's Frankie. Oh, oh, you lucky. You lucky. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's dirty, man. What's up, man? What's good? Yeah, just chilling, you know, still supporting Louisiana to the fullest. Hey, we need you to fuck with us, man. We need you to take care of us on that new project, man. I hit you up on uh, Where the Soap. Yeah, I think I recognized you. That's why when Nizad uh, Beerfield gave me this number, I knew who it was. I mean, the thing is, we've been doing our thing here for a minute, you know what I'm saying? But, like, the major thing, we need to beef up our internet presence, you know what I mean? That's why we're hitting you up. But, like, the budget, the budget is tight, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Feel me? So, like, everything on the shoestring right now, but I need you to fuck with it for real, for real. No problem, dog. Like, Obama's gonna, you know, make a better world for us. Man, I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to be the new Obama, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the Obama the rap game. We trying to make a change, the real shit. Everybody who's fucking with us right now, once we work 10, 20, 30, 100 million dollars, them niggas gonna be on payroll, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, spit on the bitches' cup, real shit. If you don't do that, I'll do it. Piss on that shit. <laughs> but yeah, hey, real shit though. Like, we try, you know what I mean? Beef about staff, man, because we trying to get a movement started. Uh huh. But like real shit. I mean, as far as Baton Rouge go and Louisiana go, we top dogs under the trail. And they gotta make the deal. So we had this thing unsigned down here. Fuck what everybody else talking about. Yeah, cause it's like I fuck with Louisiana real hard and to the fullest. Like I just love it so much. I mean, you see, that's the same shit I'm on, you hear me? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Straight hustle. For real. We appreciate the reviews and everything, you heard me? Yeah, no problem. You know, you gotta, like, get me, like, somehow to get that new down bad joint, because, like, I don't got it, and, like, you know, I definitely want to review it. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell KJ and MP3 that this thing. He's gonna you hear me? Alright. And I still remember our first phone call to this day, exactly 12 years later, you hear me? Nothing, um, I just wanted to say that on um, Down Bad CD, I got to get it from, uh, KJ yesterday. 
Alright, alright. Yeah, and I reviewed that bitch instantly. Yeah, what do you think about it? Is anyone official or it do? It was definitely official. I mean, like, you know, I'm putting that shit on my iPod. Like, you know, most of them joints, you know, pretty much loved them on, like, you know, first listen. And, you know, the few that I knew already, they were just great. So, like, and I was, you know, real glad that I was able to get it finally. Yeah, I appreciate that, but I appreciate you reviewing it, man. We've been we've been working a project and putting it together for a long time, but I hit you up on the open talk, man. We trying to get some people to help us beef up our internet presence, whether it's just doing a couple strategic posts on forum boards, different forum boards, you know what I mean, or the YouTube videos or whatever it may be with the little picture slideshows and the music in the background. We really, really need help with that. Now I see that you got a network set up of places you'll be to where if you was to post a link up to a song, you could probably get a couple hundred hits on it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, I I'd think... Places. And I mean, if I could get a team of people to work together like that, we could really make an impact on the net. But I, I'm trying to recruit some people to make this shit happen, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got the money to pay to be on all hiphop.com and all that bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, because, like, um... I'm pretty good with YouTube, and of course, I don't know if you saw my new music video yet, but I have a lot of editing skills, so like YouTube things are the best things I could do. Alright, cool, cool. Well shit, I'm gonna, uh, you can edit like live video footage or whatnot? Um, yeah, like, say, like, because obviously I'm nowhere near you guys, like, if you guys were to film, you know, footage of yourself down bad, etc., etc., and send it to me online, I could take it and, you know, put, um, music in the background for it and, you know, add captions and all that shit, and, like, even if you wanted a music video, like, you do the same thing, you could give me scenes of everything you want and then I'll take them by you uploading them to me and I'll make a music video for you out of it because I don't even mind like spending all the time to do it because I want to really make folks music videos. Hey, that's what's up, man. This would be the start right now. Um, I mean, I, I don't have, I got a video camera, a camcorder that loads in mini DV format, but I don't know how to upload that. But we got concert footage on digital cameras so I could upload that into a Windows Media video and I can probably shoot it to you like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, interviews or whatever and you can just play with it, put captions, the music in the background while we talking shit. Have you seen the uh, Down Bad TV thing we've been doing? Um, the CD thing you've been doing? Down Bad TV on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, um, I didn't get to check, I didn't really know much about that so I didn't really check it yet. Yeah, we haven't really promoted it too much. We've got it up on MySpace, on, uh, on our second MySpace page, to say Down Bad TV. We got some videos up on that, but I kind of want to blow that shit out the water. And I mean, that might be a start right there. Yeah, like, cause you know, I'm willing to do anything for, you know, Louisiana peeps, cause you know, like I'm here. Like, just give me the shit and I'll do it. All right, well cool, man. We appreciate the support, man. I'm telling you like I tell everybody else, everybody who helping us along the way. Y'all gonna be the same people who gonna be the Kevin Lyles and the Leo Cohen's the Def Jam and shit, cause we not gonna take no for an answer, you know what I mean? We done already sat down and with a few labels and it ain't been but we want what we want it. But once we get what we need from one of these motherfucking majors, it's on. Just be ready to be staff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, cause I, um, on Word of South, I sent you the, um, review I did for Down Bad, The Sickest 2K8, and I also sent it to your MySpace, cause I saw that you approved my friend request. Yeah, yeah. I ain't, uh, I ain't get it on the MySpace, I ain't been on Word of South in a second. I'm gonna go check it out right now, I'll be enjoying the motherfucking review, bro. You got, you got some motherfucking patience, my boy. That should take time, you know what I mean? That's a gift. Yeah, hell yeah, cause, like, with the reviews, like, I... I'm in my own world, and like, you know, like, no matter what I say, if it's fuck, cunt, spick, and all this other shit, like, I love this, I fucking love this, and shit like that, like, I'll be, like, saying all kinds of shit, and I don't even care what everybody thinks, I only do it for the people that actually want the reviews, example, the Down Bad review, I only do it for Down Bad, you, and anybody affiliated with, I don't do it for, like, other motherfuckers, like, you know, watching and hating and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that shit gonna turn into something major for you. I can see you ready for a magazine soon. Soon, so I'm gonna push for that shit. That's how we pay people, you know what I'm saying? Like with DJ Scrap. 
Like, I can't tell you the mix I mixtape, but I know people who need stuff, and you a DJ. So now he DJing at the strip club, making more money than he was at his regular job two nights a week. You know what I'm saying? And he fucking loving it. Yeah, like, I did a review for his mixtape, I Run Louisiana, and, like, I called him, and he said that he was gonna check it out, but he never got back to me, so, you know, I don't like when I don't get feedback on my reviews. Yeah, yeah, it was kind of, it was kind of hard to catch up with him. I'm gonna give him the word, though, because he, he pretty much affiliated with the team since we didn't put him in the building. The, uh, the strip club gig, you know what I'm saying, so... Yeah, and um, speaking of charging people, I do charge people for reviews, but I won't charge someone like you or down there, because one, you guys are from Louisiana, two, I love your music, and three, obviously I want to do the reviews. Like, with other people, like, I will charge them because they are strangers, I don't know them, their music is probably not Louisiana, and like, you know, because, like, the reviews, everybody sees that I do them, there's a higher demand for them, so people want them. And so far, two people have paid me for reviews. One person from South Carolina and Duddy Devioso from Baton Rouge. Uh, who from Baton Rouge? Duddy Devioso, I think. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I know him, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, that's how you create the man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You keep doing what you're doing, standing in your own lanes, in your own world. And I mean, you already see people coming to you. You're not really soliciting. Hey, I want to review your CD. It's the way around. I want you to review our CD, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's a mark success right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the thing is, man, I don't know what autism is. Do you uh, know what autism is? Uh, what is? Do you know what autism is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm familiar with the term or the, uh, of what it is, uh, sort of what it is, but I'm not sure exactly what it is, like, medically, but I know it exists. Yeah, what it is, is a social disorder, like, whoever has autism, you know, has trouble socializing with people in person and shit like that, and they are in their own world, and they usually have obsessions with things. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I have it. Alright, alright. Uh, I mean, hey, you can use that. That, that could be your advantage in life to do something great, you know what I mean? Yeah, because if you, if you look at it, I have autism and I have a huge obsession with lottery tickets, music, and Louisiana. Well, hey, that's, that's going to be your calling in life and it's going to give you the advantage because, like I said, I, you may, I call it patience, but like, you can call it an obsession, but sometimes that's what it takes to be successful with some shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So whether it's doing reviews or whatnot, whatnot, you might be the motherfucking greatest person to ever review a CD in the history of this motherfucking business, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, I look at people... Man, fucking with us, though, because that's... that's, that's a disguise, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, cause, you know, I see people doing reviews online, like, those big sites or whatever, and like, it's only like a page long or whatever, and like, they always throw the disappointing shit in it, like, oh, this person, you know, lacked this or this, there's no like, you know, emotion in their reviews, and like, my reviews are between 5 and 12 pages long. Yeah, it's not authentic, that's, that's that's what it is. That's what it is, it's not authentic. And like, um... You can, you can check out the uh, YouTube page, the Down Bad TV, had us as friends and stuff. And, uh, we gonna need some help with that as far as getting views up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, um, guess what happened, um, to me, um, the one day you called me when I called you, um, it was like another blessing in disguise. I have Savage, the producer's phone number. So I called it, and instead of Savage, Young Reddy answered. Yeah, Young Reddy just came home from jail. What day that was? You called him, like, Tuesday? He said Monday. I called, um, I think on Thursday, because I was talking to Young Reddy on the phone. And, like, you know, he said he was in the studio with Savage. And I was like, I just wrote you a letter today. And I was like, you know, what's going to happen with it? So he said, like, you know, it's going to come back to you. So I was like, okay, so when did you get out? So then he said Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to holler at Reddy motherfucking head, man. It's 
crazy how all of us connected down here and the struggle down here in Baton Rouge. Cause, like when you're on the inside looking out, it's never the same as how people perceive it. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's like a personal friend in the business. Cause he don't work for my label, but we still kick it like homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy. I mean, you never look at him as big as they really because I mean, dude had a song of being T running for like a year and a half strong. It's amazing. Yeah, and um, like with Young Ruddy when he was in jail, like like Savage posted his mailing address to for jail, like on Young Ruddy's MySpace, and like I wrote it down and I wrote him a letter and I sent him a review I did for his old Junkie Medicine Cocaine Edition mixtape and I didn't expect to get a response back or to him to get it but he did got it and he wrote me a whole letter back and I was like, oh my God, I'm like, look at this. I'm like, there's motherfuckers from my college, like my old college that don't give a shit about me but like Young Ruddy, like, you know, would write me a whole letter saying thank you and like, you know, you know, I'm glad for the support or whatever. So, you know, I wrote him back with, you know, a lot of excitement. And, you know, he wanted me to do a review for him while he was in jail. And I did that right away. And I sent him that. And I revised the old review I did for him. And he really liked it. Oh, that, man. It's crazy. I'm going to hit up Randy in a minute, man. I forgot that. It's on. I got to get with my dog. It's crazy, but hey, bro, we appreciate the support, bro, and it's not gonna go unrewarded, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's just gonna take you somewhere, believe me. I'm telling you now, let's see you. Yeah, I, I actually, you know, just wish one day, you know, I could be in Louisiana a lot. Like, that's like my biggest wish, because I'm like, you know, look at all these people I'm socializing with. And I'm like, looking at it like, where I'm at right now, Northeast Pennsylvania, I'm like, who the fuck am I talking to? There's like nobody to talk to here, except for maybe two people at my new college. Yeah, what you going to school for, journalism? I'm going to school for digital media because like I said, I'm very good with directing and editing videos. That's what's up, man. That's, that's major. But shit, we gonna be your class project. Every time y'all got a project, that's what I did because I just graduated from Southern University. I got a finance degree. So when I was doing all the business projects and shit, just looking at me stupid because everything had down bad entertainment on it. But what the bitches didn't know is they taught business plans, everything I was doing in school, I really used for the company, you know what I'm saying? So just take that approach to it, man. That, that shit's gonna go far, I'm telling you. Yeah, because it's like up here, like nobody really likes rap music, which sucks. And if they do, they like that pop rap shit. And I'm like, you know what? Like, you know, I don't like, you know, fuck with everybody on the music tip up here because, you know, I listen to whatever. And I think it has to do with my autism because it's like, you know what? I want to deep down into what I'm listening to. And, you know, Louisiana is my shit. That's what it is. That's what it is. Whatever moves you, you know what I'm saying? It might not be ready, but hey, the same shit that's underground today is like mainstream in years to come. So you just get to be the first one to be like, ha, bitch, I told you so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's all going to happen, because I remember when Cash Money was underground and nobody knew who the fuck they was outside of Louisiana and Texas. Yeah, and it's like, you know, like, uh, people, like, only know, like, you know, Little Wayne up here, and it's like, I'm just doing the same things I'm always doing, and not even caring what anybody says. That's what's up. That's what it's gonna take. That's what it's gonna take. It's all good, though, man. We appreciate that, man. I'm about to go online in a second and check out that review, though, man. We're gonna go ahead and throw it up on our MySpace page. Yeah, it's about like, I think it's like maybe eight pages long or something. Alright. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna take the time to read it and spread it around, man. We appreciate that, though. Yeah, because I sent it to you, I sent it to Down Bad's page, I sent it to KJ Armour's page. That's amazing. I'm about to check it out, man. You stay cool. I'm gonna get up with you and uh, see if I can shoot you some of the Window Media videos. And, uh,. Like when it comes to artistic stuff, I don't, I don't get in the way of that. Like with my artists or whatever, I don't tell them what to rap about, how to do it. I just let the brilliant minds do what the brilliant minds do. So I'll shoot you the videos I got and stuff, and you can do whatever the fuck you want with them. And we can throw them up on YouTube and see if we can get these hits going, so we can get us a motherfucking deal. Yeah. Hey, YouTube presence is strong. Like how many hits you getting on your uh, videos? I know it's more than ten thousand. 
Well, like, my monthly videos, we got like 5,000 a month. Hey, I appreciate the help, brother. You're a blessing, man. You're amazing to me, because, like, I love the music just as much as you do, but you're not down here with us in the trenches with us, and you got that much love for what we doing and what everybody doing in Louisiana. It should just fuck my head up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Little Wayne was doing his thing, and I wanted to kind of experiment more with Louisiana music. That's what it is. That's what it is. I mean, that's how, that's how we defined our style. Our style, no limit, mixed with cash money, you know what I'm saying? So, with our own bad roots twist on, that's where we come from, that's where we're influenced by, so that's what it is down here. Yeah, I, I I'm think... Definitely stay in touch with you, though, man. I'm gonna make sure I shoot you those videos, too. And then that future. Yeah, what you call? Not in um I just got home so that's why I didn't answer before but good looking on the uh, voicemail. Yeah. Yeah, good looking on the video, man. This shit off the fucking day, man. Yeah. I, I yeah, cause like, I went on YouTube and I was just downloading the down bad videos when I typed in down bad. That's what's up, man. You did the damn thing with that there. Hey, I gotta shoot you the new logo, too. I don't know if you've seen it. It's, uh, it's on our page in the picture. I yeah, like a new word logo. Yeah, I, I think I might have saw it. Yeah, we're about to brand that shit in the street so hard down here. It's gonna be like law, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta start wearing that bitch like a bag. You lucky, man. It's dirty, man. What's up? Zam is dirty, J Dirty. Look at down there. Zam, J Dirty. We're gonna close the J Dirty and down back with Zam. Frankie, for Zam, mom, mom, mom. November 24th, 2008. What was it? My first ever commercial. Down bad. <laughs> From Rough Draft to Enhanced version, the Down Bad commercial set it off, slowly making me the commercial king, despite having to currently serve a sentence for making 187 videos for a company where I attempted to win my share over. Needless to say, over 700 commercials later, best believe dropping them every day, it's my cry for help. I'll continue to get it in, and I can't believe it started with Down Bad. Quite honored to this day. Every day they're going to be one. Yeah, what you do, bro? Keeping my creative brain going, on November 25th, 2008, I was coming up with a brilliant idea called the Louisiana Animals. I wanted to have my own TV show, kind of make it like in my own world, but based off of real Louisiana stories. I only wrote one episode, but never dropped it. Of course, look at KJ. Down bad. Jay Dirty. <laughs> look at... <laughs> Woo, the items we need, y'all. The items, the items, the items. Did you say something like people were talking about me or something? Yeah, 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 my artist. They were wondering about the video and stuff, man. They were really, really excited about that. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. You lucky, man. It's dirty, man. What's up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Nothing. I'm chilling. We need to come up with a plan, Frankie, so we can take over this motherfucking internet, man. I want some worldwide global domination type shit. Hey, we gotta take over the internet, man. I think you're gonna help us do it. I just don't know how yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, most definitely, dude. I mean, as far as the internet goes, all my plays say that pop out like, you know, so far, it's all plays a day. Like, so many views. Seven, eight thousand friends, you know what I'm saying? That's about good cool, but I'm trying to take this shit to the next level, man. I, I, I don't know what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I could do as much shit as you want me to on YouTube, because, you know, like, I have a lot of subscribers and shit, and, like, look at the Down Bad commercial I made. I fucking love it, and I watch it so many times. Shit, uh, that's just crazy hard. I gotta, you got the film song video, you got the footage for that. I don't know, you can, just make, see if you can come up with some solo videos, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like, also, like, I, a video for each song, I'm ready to video, but like, with the slide show, maybe some concert footage, but like, with the whole, with the whole song on that, you know what I'm saying? At least I get the YouTube views up for that, but like, so 
made one, but the one I made was tacky compared to what you made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. That'll, that'll help. Somebody made a video for Out the Box. And it's got like 20,000 plays on it. So, like, so Wop is the next thing that we working down this way. So that one's, uh, that'll be a major. Yeah, because I'm willing to spend, like, as much time as I can with you doing this shit. Because, like, I don't care if it's, like, forever. Like, I, I just spend as much time as I can for you. Because you know I got your back all day, every day. Thanks, I appreciate that. Say if I was to send you a jump drive, and, like, you can fill that bitch up and then send it back to me. Alright, that's what it's doing. Oh, shit, they're gonna pull me. Fuck. I'm the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be the, uh, we do a video for So What. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, what other songs you like out there? Well, I already know you like that Can't Stop. Yeah, I like uh, the Mind Gone song, of course. Yeah, fine. Hey, people say that ought to be the next thing or two. So you can probably chop one up of that, too. If you get some pictures of Savage and shit. Yeah. And, uh, I send you everything in an email, because the main thing is marketing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you throw those subliminals in there, and certain messages, like, go buy the album now, or, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes people got a problem with mixing us up, and I'm using with other people, so we make it clear that this is down bad. You know what I'm saying? That's the group name, down bad. Because people call us down bad entertainment when we do shows and shit. And that's the company name, you know what I'm saying? For the rap group, I cash money at the hot bars, but it's down bad entertainment, the group is down bad. Yeah. Get like that clear. Yeah, actually, I know what I'm gonna do. Does this sound like a good idea? Um, every song on the sickest 2K8 album and any other down bad song, I feel like just making like a random picture, like slideshow for each song, so I could put it on YouTube. Yeah, we could do that. Well, I wanna, like, I really wanna focus on just a few songs, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Don't give them too, too much, but like. Uh, we could do a handful of them, like Mind Gone, uh, So Wop. Somebody already made one, I don't even know who the first man is made one about the box. And, uh, we, so we can upload it to the Down Bad TV page and promote it from there. And we can put it on your page, too. And we can probably tell people to go to the Down Bad TV MySpace page and add us as a subscriber and as a friend, too, in the video or in the slideshow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because, like, I'm going to put it on my YouTube first. So, like, a lot of people see it, and then, like, you know, I'll send the video to your page, KJ's page, the Down Bad pages. Yeah, yeah, that was up, that was up. That shit, shit. We, we gonna get started on that shit, man. That's what's up. Alright, yeah, and, like, tomorrow I'm gonna probably send you some shit in the mail, so you'll probably get that shit, like, Thursday or something. That's what's up, that's what's up. Well, I appreciate you, bro. You good see if you know I'll be busy than a motherfucker. And I'm gonna find time to chop it up with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Good dog, good. Good dog to the good. Good luck, man. It's dirty, man. What's up? What's up? Um, I've been busy doing shit. You got a Windows Media video file or the uh, commercial? Yeah, I do. And, um, I'll send it to you. And I was talking to, um, Jimmy the DJ, and he was suggesting that I should, you know, enhance it a little. All right. I mean, for what it is, because, like, we're not going to... It's not going to be on actual TV, it serves its purpose, you know what I mean? Because if you enhance it, it ain't going to do nothing but take up more of your hard drive space. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. the video we got is tight and effective for what we're trying to do with it, which is YouTube. It's not like we go on a DVD with it, you feel me? Yeah. And so that ain't much no, because I already know how the video shit works when you got to render shit and effects and stuff, because we shot a video, you know what I'm saying? That shit ain't going to do nothing but eat up your hard drive space. Yeah, and, um... Did you get the thing I sent you in the mail? Yeah, yeah, the package at the studio, they called me about it. I ain't gonna change to pick it up yet, though. Oh, okay. I sent you a um, video also. I was promoting Mind Gone. Yeah, I seen that. Added it tight. And it really gives some hits, man. We gotta pump up that down bed, uh, down bed TV YouTube page. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I saw that it was favorited on there along with the commercial. Yeah, I did that today. I did that today. So yeah, it's all good. Frankie, what's up, mom? 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 What's up, dude? Nothing. Did you miss me?
Yeah, man, I ain't going to be busy with the motherfucker, bro. I'll tell you that dog, but I ain't going to fall back 10 minutes and shit happens. And I get, get in my mode, man. I'll be like, oh, I can tell what I'll be having this business shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you check out the enhanced version? Of course, of course. That bitch ain't called it. Yeah. You know what? Do what I want to tell you. We got a certain font. I don't know how your how you letter works in there, but like, it's called the Machiavelli font. Okay. It's like a signature down bad font. It's also known as Crack House. Alright. But like, you could, you could slip that on the next video or whatever and put it in there like that or how that works. Um, I'll have to look, because we got, like, tons and tons of shit, but, like, for the fonts, we probably have, like, 50 to 100, so I'll probably have to see if that's there. Well, I'm going to email and see you with the new logo and shit. Okay. I, got, I keep it on file. I always send it to Gravity Designs when they draw flies and shit for concerts. Okay. Well, that bitch bad. Yeah, 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 that bitch
You know, helping Louisiana peeps out. Hey, we're gonna make it too. You got a big help, man. Yeah. What do you think the next thing about the album ought to be? Um, I don't know. Weren't we trying to push mine gone or something? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You think mine gone? But I like the song with Jimmy Jump a lot too, though. Yeah. She making it hard and the rolling song. Oh yeah, speaking of the Rolling song, um, my rapping grandma likes that song. Um, but that's what's up. See, that might be our next one I look right there. Mm. It's a time to tell because the Queen always rises. It's time. So we'll figure out which one it'll be. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, But first, look what we did for Down Bad, J Dirty, and KJR. January 6, 2009. After showing my rapping granny grandma down the block, Down Bad's track Rollin' 08, all of a sudden, the ear opened up. And I was able to bring you this. What a day, January 7, 2009. Remember this like it was yesterday, of course, during those Nussy Alive times of mine. This just in, look. Jenny, your number's brand new ticket. 19-22-24-1. A J? That means they won, because look. 22's right there, and it says 8. Uh-oh, an E, that means it's $10 right here. I found $18 in winning scratch-offs, not cashed in, during my lottery ticket hunting, as well as a mysterious found winner with no revealed prize. Look at this one. March 12, 26, 7, or 3. <gasps> There's a 3, oh my god. wonder what the prize is. Whatever it was, I was going to have Rap and Granny scratch it. And whatever the revealed prize was, I was going to originally donate to J Dirty and Down Bad. J Dirty, hope he's doing good. KJ, J Dirty. And now, the magic touch of Granny. We might donate it to Down Bad. Is it 5? No. It's not? No. Is it 10? Yes. It is? Yes. We just found a ten dollar <laughs> winner. Here you go, J Dirt. That's it. I'm chilling. I'm trying to get the year on countdown that I did online. It's just I'm trying to like put together YouTube clips of them so like you know you could see like all the samples of the songs and how much I played them, etc., etc. So like for example, like the Dow Bad songs are in the 200s. So when I get the Dow Bad ones, it's gonna say something like, for example, number 251, Dow Bad feature blue blackout the box times I played 41. In my music leading ways, this may sound crazy, but I sent Jay Dirty on Facebook a pic of an artist that he literally didn't know about at the time. You know, anything else? I have a picture you put up on Facebook, you know that shit? What? The picture you put up on Facebook. 
Oh, um, that actually, like, I was joking around with, like, that person yesterday, like, talking about her. No, she's a singer, like, she has, like, a song out right now. It's, like, Just Dance, Gonna Be Okay, or something like that. It's, like, all over the place. And, like, her picture, when you go on my face, like, you will see her picture. And it just kept making me laugh. So that's, like, why, like, I put it on your page. Because, like, it's, like, the thing that was making me laugh yesterday. Um, so, I guess I'm cute. I'm totally What's she from? Uh, no, uh, I don't know where she's from. Oh. That's right. I was the first one to mention Lady Gaga to him. You're lucky, man. It's dirty, man. What's up? What's up, Frank? Nothing. You win. You're down. You want us. You know what I'm saying? As far as you working with us, like, you hired in the inside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was saying to myself, like, for, like, the longest time, like, you've been one of my favorite dudes out of Baton Rouge. Like, you know, like, Jay Dirty, you know, like, like, I just, you know, always had, like, the most amount of love for you, like, regardless of anything. Like, that's why, you know, I really wanted to, you know, help you with shit, because I feel like, you know, Jay Dirty's one of the coolest motherfuckers out there. Yeah, he's got the streets all locked, and they seen that. That's why, I didn't tell you how Asylum got up with us. I didn't even reach out to Asylum. Um, he did drama was down here for Super Mike birthday party. Mm-hmm. He did drama her so watch in the club. Everybody go crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he was like, he was like, man, they got some hot groups out here in Baton Rouge because they play Pop G Silver, a key role, and they played out the box. Then they played so watch. He's like, God damn, who made that song? You know what I'm saying? He's like, shit, fuck that, who made that song? Then he found out all that shit was us, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's like, man, he, he gotta, man, we, somebody needs to find these dudes, you know what I'm saying? So DJ Drama set that shit up. Yeah, that's what's up. Like, you know, I congratulate you guys for that. Because, like, look at, like, all the times I hear Down Bad's music. It's never disappointing. And every time I hear it, it's just, like, it's infectious. And it's always iPod adders when, like, you know, I get the CDs and shit. I'm glad. Well, hey, bro, just stay down on the ground. But you will be rewarded in the long run. I need you to fuck me on this shit right here. Yeah, most definitely stay true. It's what it is, Chuck. It's what it is. It's crazy. But yeah, mo, mo, mo. Does it feel like March 17, 2009 again? This was me. As my girl from college, Alexia, was filming me, I was promoting so up and clicking at Z-Share links non-stop. What up? It's Frankie. We got Alexia here. And she's going to, you know, record me. Because look. Where is it? J Dirty got surprised and saw there was a hundred, no, a thousand Z share links. Want to know why? We'll find out. Currently, it's at 1,073. We're going to record for one minute straight. And now it's 1270. Dang. So it went up a hundred. Ten seven. It went up 197 in one minute. A 20-year-old dedication right there. Not even 10 minutes later after the last recording, it went up another thousand. A thousand hits in under 10 minutes? What would it look like in a day? Like Down Bad says, can't stop. No, I can't stop. Still going. Hopefully, J Dirty, KJ Armor, Trill, and Down Bad, and everybody else supporting Down Bad really loves what I did. Getting those hits up like crazy, retarded, buku hits. Today we're back. It's 6,670. It's 2.36 p.m. Still March 17th. See how long it takes to get to 10,000. Well, 17 minutes later, it hit over 10,000. Doing about 300 downloads a minute. 10,000. Aren't I fantastic for an autistic person that supports down bad? Had to hike up its download link. Yeah, what's up? Nothing. I see you saw those Z share hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you cheated the stats, man? Um, no. Well, like, I, you know, boosted up, like, very high. Yeah. Hey man, that's a good look, none of that. I wanted to get honest numbers. 
so we know we finally. Yeah, so um, like what I mainly like do with the um download hits is like, you know, I could mainly do it at my college. Is like I click the link and I just you know keep refreshing the page. It just gets it, you know, it adds more downloads. Yeah. It was a real good look, because, like, you know, people will look at it and, you know, see that they got that many hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As of yesterday, April 11, 2009, we printed some more pictures that we're going to put on the wall. Like, Down Bad and J Dirty. Take a look. Frankie the Lucky Dogs, 2009 eggs. This one. Going pop a jig it in, laugh out loud, how random. Louisiana shout outs, Jimmy the DJ, D1, Blue Black, J Dirty, Down Bad, KJ Armor. Good luck, man, it's Dirty, man, what's up? So on April 15, 2009, I was with Alexia at Barrywood, and I made her give me a pop quiz, birthday pop quiz, that is. Well, before we start our commercials, we're going to do a birthday test, starring... Lexi is gonna record it. I'm gonna be the big star. You know, she's gonna ask me dates in order, and we're gonna say whose birthday it is. Best believe I remembered what September 4th was. September 4th. J Dirty. <laughs> Look at the new ads. Down bad. J Dirty. Yeah. On my actual wall in my room, like I have my Louisiana peeps on my wall, and I got you and Down Bad on my wall. Right. How is the ringtone yeah. situation going with you guys? Like, how often do people buy your ringtones? Uh, we're still daily, selling two, three, and eight, like six, seven, and one. So I really would like to see the numbers jump on that. And, uh, like, with the first month on iPhone, we got the first report, we did like 150 downloads. Like 90 of them was also up. And we really, I didn't know when that shit went up, but like, we didn't promote it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to Nothing. I did Tara's review today. Uh, well, I sent it on all the MySpaces. Your MySpace, and all of the Down Bad members' MySpaces, KJ's MySpace. They were doing Tara's video. We're leaving today. We're coming back tomorrow. So we're gonna continue Tara's video for Choke You Out. Happy birthday to J Dirty today. Happy birthday. Yeah, I know it's been a minute since we talked, and you know I had to hit you up on your birthday. Yeah, I now talk to Tara on the phone and shit, so you know now like I'm kind of expanding my stuff. February 26, 2012, I released The Decade of Frankie the Lucky Dog, 2000 to 2009, during one of my projects for Marywood, as an unlisted release. And I highlighted Jay Dirty's memorable first phone call on there. This is A Decade of Frankie the Lucky Dog. On November 7th, that same night at 3.42 a.m., Baton Rouge manager Jay Dirty, who manages Baton Rouge group Down Bad, returned Frankie's call. What up? I love when people call me in the middle of the night. Down bad in the building.
Motor, man. What's up? April 25th, 2020. You know what was going on? The versus battles. And Bad Rouge Heavyweights Level and Max Minnelli had their song versus battle. You heard me? And guess what? They were losing track of where they were at in the battle. And out of nowhere, this pops up. Jay Dirty, I bet you Frankie know. Fucking right, fucking right, I guess. For real, for real. Frankie, what's up, mo, mo, mo? It's your boy Frankie, like a dog here, and I'm chilling with an 80s baby in a 30s like me. Who do we got? Ah, uh, you got Lord Jesus, no, AKA Cheese, you know, formerly member of Down Bad. September 11, 2020, more recent times. Jesus shouted out Jay Dirty during my first time meeting up with him in person. Shout out, you know, my brother Jay Dirty, you know, we. We the 80s babies in our 30s, you heard me? We are here changing the world. And it's just so crazy, numerically, that you think of it. I first talked to Jay Dirty three days after Obama won the presidential election. Now, he passed away three days before the 2020 presidential election. No fucking way. It's just so trippy. But you know how we channel our strength and our longevity and our resistantness to any bullshit? With the music. You feel me? Buku memories. Before all y'all 90s babies, 2000s babies came, we were the 80s babies bringing you what Jay Dirty brought. As Mr. Dirty, peep out the joints right now. Down bad in the building. Catching two two five. That's that pimp dude talking, man. Down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, down here, down here. I'ma throw it back my fit, I'ma throw it back my whip, I'ma throw it back my bitch, I'ma throw it back Get your clubs out, niggas get them, feel the dust, focus, get your clubs out, bro, this chick will be the jump Daddy, yeah, daddy, yeah, daddy, yeah. y'all want to know some real shit, man, I ain't never seen my pop before The devil vision to give me, it's a challenge to stay focused, I'm trying to keep my feet on the ground But now what's the deal, dog? you say you about that, but when that drama starts What y'all doing this year? Some of them smoking, some chewing the pee. I will fuck you up personally. <laughs> this pair, put me in, coach. You know why? Down bad. Me straight fight three. Drugs are going out. The coldest nigga under the moon. I come from under the moon. Mr. Tango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap in the trunk, crank it up like David Banner, a bunch of niggas with I'm getting in on my hustle, yeah, I got a plan Get this money with my niggas, flip a couple I'm a mag, don't trip, my kid, though That's a rap hustler, gotta get more I feel it how I feel, it's so ridiculous Get your own grip, motherfucker, city, bro Yo, 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 I hear 
get a clock, so that means it's time to get up. Don't see no scared, no, she ain't never scared. She takes me like down, man, we all get up. Hell it ain't. Rap for some love, paper chase, a money maker. That's what I am in the process. Niggas so know it's me when I, I, I slide through. Niggas so know it's me, press T, cause now my YB. Oh yeah, you know me, now who I be? Oh yeah, you know me. My motherfucking money making niggas stand up. All these niggas want my thriller, she's a yeah, The only two she get is what the fans feed you, the rest. Snitch, niggas get popped and can't take their shit. Yeah. Chick a bad bitch, just stay up the fashion. Got cash in, gotta keep a nest until matching. Big classic. I'm all sitting to let them know how I'm coming. My nigga sitting, boy, I got it padded on the stomach. Oh, I'm coming. So much weed, alcohol, I gotta flow. It's going down, man. I get this going down, man. It's going down, man. I get this going down, man. Three goes down where I grew up. Back then, back then, it was five whole pounds. Say what? Hey, hey, I got it over here. Come here. What you got? What you got? What you, what you looking for, Ron? What you looking, I'm looking for? for the light gear coat, man. You got it? Fucking the 
swiggin' and jiggin' and wiggin' They real shit We can stand some old fans Train them out and hit the block and bring you cash I don't know you nothing I don't know you nothing Man, don't let them niggas stop Get a hustle low Don't fuck with him, he ain't your pride I'm on the back street I'm in the back Down bad ENT, man. What you hear right now is that guy. Just get your shine off. Just get your shine off. Nigga, get your shine off. Just get your shine off. My town, that's the sickest. My rounds, that's the sickest. Bitch, my kicks, that's the sickest. My bitch, that's the sickest. Don't clean on them. Don't clean on them. Don't clean on them. Don't clean on them. He ain't gotta tell me. Tell me. He ain't gotta tell me. He ain't gotta tell me. She ain't gotta tell me. Tell me. Super, I'm in this bitch. Down bad, nigga. We getting that money. We on the road. Drugs through the shake back, January 2008. Young Sound Bad in the field. 
Only do shit at night Cause the day ch- Shout out to my nigga Cage the conductor On the motherfucker production That's the nigga behind me Y'all niggas get y'all fucking head Fuck my nigga Let you pull it Fuck what you talking about Bitch I'ma try to fuck with us But they ain't hot enough Try to fuck with us But they don't probably Not touch my 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 touch I got a mouthpiece without a mouthpiece. Bitch with the terror, but it's not the terror squad, it's that Mile City boy. Hey, with a fire in What's up, people? Now, unfortunately, this the last song on the list. Can you help me? No one helped me. They all left me all by myself. It wasn't healthy, but now they sweat me like calories. Y'all niggas charging for a feature, cuz what's up, man? I wanna hold get up, that down up. bad shit, man. Bam, bitch, nigga, what you talking about? Bam, bitch, nigga, what you talking about? Bam, bitch, nigga, 
female dog, a female dog, a female dog, so fetch your dog from fresh air. There's too much smoke up in here, and the music real loud, and the niggas. All these hoes in the club, I'm trying to touch some. She real friendly, showing signs I wanna fuck some. Okay, let them go. That's what you're jamming right now, you heard me? Yeah, nigga, back again in the bitch loaded like a motherfucker, man. J fucking filthy. Hey. Hey. What up, world? We back in this thing again. Max out music. Max out movement volume. Max out lifestyle, nigga. Gotta make it. Money, money, money. Yeah, we all good. Kicking like FIFA. Girls in the club show me love. Baton Rouge City. You ain't fucking with it. Baton Rouge City. Made it from the back. She say she like that. When I'm stunning with them stats, she say she like that. If a nigga wasn't stuck in the streets, I wonder what my life would be. Would be. Like fuck a hater, hating cause a nigga getting all this paper. Talking about no money, bitch, holler. You on know, my dick, you was acting funny, bitch, holler. You ain't really about that gunplay. No, you ain't really about that gunplay. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm, hungry. I'm so hungry. What you think I'm making show like? I'm in this thing. Damn, in this thing. Bitch, I'm in this thing. Damn, in this thing. Bitch, I'm in my fat rich gangster. Louisiana, most. I am my goons busting shots. I'm here with that bullshit. You know I am and what I represent. Gregory, all that OA pay that salary. I'm so amazing. Swag so crazy. I'm so amazing. Swag so amazing. Holly, take that. Why? Super holly. Ay, like Mel, I'm not a rapper. Shit, but bully what you won't do no cuz on the real i will stop Don't be with the piece of high be on your strip. Got me so high, 
to the point that I can't see you. My kicks, you ain't seen you. Okay, huh? get it with the 
Late. I ain't never too late. You gotta get dirty for your money. I call it dirty money. Everything retarded. Everything. Everything retarded. Fuck with a nigga yeah. over here. Yeah. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. All my thugs like, and all my thugs yeah. like, yeah. 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 Engaged to the bitch, you know she don't love you. She in it for the money. She don't wanna fuck me. She wants the cows. How much that pussy cows? Still, I got stacks. Still, I got stacks. Don't talk this shit, man. Let that shit go. Man, these niggas and these hoes. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna be the man now. I ain't waiting no patience. Understand? I'm terror, the greatest, but terror is hated. All of these questions make me feel interrogated. I'm terror, the greatest, but terror is hated. Oh, I ain't got it all. T-shirt waiting on your club I feel a beat with that chop you Got a drum, yeah. got a drum If you niggas really think that a cool Oh, 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 oh Let's go on here about you She's a straight freak She's a straight freak She's a straight freak I'm about to be mom So baby, I'm about to be mom That's the only thing I need. Oh, 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 oh,
Target at dirty, like you know, those that represent the dirty, dirty, those are like my leaders. You heard me? That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now on the bridge in the middle of the night by myself. You heard me? J Dirty, you heard me? It rhymes and it goes together. You feel me? <sighs> I can't believe it. I'm speechless, and I mean, it's just like the ground right here. You leave your mark on the bridge and you are forever known as an artifact. So that's the kind of power Jay Dirty gave me when he passed because I was at the peak of my work ethic, editing my latest blockumentary trip number seven, you heard me? Peaking at work ethic when he passed, like I always feel like I'll do it for him as I peak with my work ethic all the time, you feel me? 121 words per minute as of September 18, 2020 at 1140 in the morning, you feel me? Gotta know these things, you hear me? That's why I keep the memories, you feel me? You feel me? Once again, broadcasting from the Antolani Bridge here in Antolani Lake, Antolani, PA. It's your boy, Frank the Lucky Dog, a.k.a. Frank Calhoun. Sadly reporting another tragic loss in the Louisiana rap community.